<clears throat> All right, so this is me, Spoons, and we're going to be doing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Though I know it is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but this is just is American release, and they changed the name for some odd reason. So yeah, it's the PC version of the game, and it has... It was fun in my childhood. Looking back on it now, not so much, so here we go. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! All right, so this is our little mission page that pops up before the whole mission. It's not really a mission, but it's what you have to do. Your objective. So we see, oh god, the frame rate is so bad. You see a bunch of students running. So you have to catch class, I guess, I don't know. And Dumbledore comes down the stairs. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft Harry. and Wizardry. Harry alone. I am Albus Dumbledore, Look at your those headmaster. Textures. No, like Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. Magic. So search behind every door, but keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn mm -hmm. and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde Crab. of fire crabs. Oh, okay. No. Up the stairs and Did he just get super old lessons. in that last sentence? Don't or was he late. just me? Whatever. So Dumbledore walks off and just kind of stands there. For no reason. The frame rate is really bad on this, and I apologize. I've, hey, Harry, I've seemed to have fixed the problem in later videos. Anyway, here's Ron. Though the game is... The, the frame rate... The actual game frame rate is pretty slow, and it can get to some really terrible bits where it's like, it's just not smooth at all. But anyway, we're in Hogwarts! Awesome! In the entrance hall! Gotta change some things. Yeah. See, there's the options. You can change keys for movement and such. Color. It's actually pretty decent. And they've got the inverted broom control down at the bottom there, which comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, so that's the page. Our menu. So 
So yeah, going back down to the entrance hall for no reason. Checking out Dumbledore. He's a sexy old man. Look at that beard. Hell yeah. Back up the stairs. Oh god, I really apologize for the frame rate. I promise it's better later on in the next video. I've improved it. It's pretty slow at the beginning of the Follow game anyway. Me, and during like the cutscene-y type bits. If you can call them cutscenes. So I'm following Ron up this hallway to meet his brothers, Fred and George, who are basically my favorite Harry Potter characters. Hello, Harry. We can show you how Some to get around Hogwarts. Freaking As rowling. Year, Why? Why would you do that? For us, for a the last book. I don't want to spoil I'll anything for people the about Arts the books. Class. Good but, luck, Harry. Come on, it's Harry Potter. And if you haven't read it, then you probably don't care enough to read it anyway. But still, I'm not gonna. Anyway. So this is our secret training room, which I don't get it. They're the training me to, well, they're training up. Harry to be able Above to climb bookcases book and like run around the school. The He's here to learn. It's a learning experience. Room. He's here to get an education, not be. Huh. I don't know. I my brain farts sometimes. I forget things. <laughs> anyway, huh. the bookcases. See, there's this funny thing. We'll see that. That was pretty good. He just kind of jumped over. Not jumped, but he hoisted himself over. Ooh, magic! But there's this thing where you jump, where you're you don't have to jump, and it jumps way too high and grabs onto an invisible ledge, and then you just kind of fall well down, done. and it's odd. Now, and you'll be jump. seeing a lot of that later on. Run to the ledge. Run to the ledge. Press the jump button, jump button jump to jump across. No. Down, no, really? The jump button to jump. And start over. Wow. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you. New. Okay. Blah, blah, jump. Oh god, frame rate. I I should just redo this video. I'm really sorry. Oh, shit. This is Peeves. That's Peeves, the poltergeist. Exactly. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like fur shoes, so watch your step. Peeves is the jerk poltergeist of Hogwarts. Always playing tricks, always being really mean and rude, and sticking gum in your hair and throwing chalk at you, so on and so forth. But in this game, you just kind of, well, if you hit him or he runs into you, it does you damage. Which kind of sucks. Kind of cartwheeling around there. So, jumpy jumpy. That was pretty easy. Going up the stairs. Oh god, the frame rate. You're getting the hang of this. It's not even like I'm doing a video LP, it's just like a freaking picture one. Chocolate frame by frame. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Frogs boost your energy. Okay, chocolate legs. frogs are really important because you'll end up losing health a lot. And finding chocolate ball. frogs is like Come a little gift from the heavens. It's like, have some health! Yes, and every- Birdie bots every flavored beans. If, see, that was the jump thing I'm talking about. He just kind of grabbed a ledge that wasn't there. Anyway, Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans are a very popular snack in the wizarding world. They're candy and it's, you know, like, um, Jelly Bellies? Those really good, um, jelly beans that have a whole bunch of different flavors. Yeah, these are kind of like them, except they've got flavors like boogers, yay! Oh. Talk to Fred. He's the one with the wizard card. Talk thanks, Harry. <clears throat> we couldn't have done it without you. We're looking <coughs> for means for some uh, <coughs> experiments. Yeah, experiments. A card right, for you. okay. You've earned it. So wizard cards are these pentagonal Climbs pentagonal collectible cards with famous wi wizards on them. Wizards. Wizards. And, um, they're just a collectible thing, and if you get all of them at the end of the game, then... I don't even remember. I think you get, like, a bonus ending or something. Or just a congratulations! But yeah, I do my best to try and find every one of them. They're not too hard to find. 